on food stamps in 2013. The U.S. Army considers replacing thousands of troops. And they go on and have quotes in here where the generals are saying they're going to have automated, automated, autonomous robots driving the cars and fighting the wars and that they're phasing it in. And there's no discussion even of, well, this allows centralized groups to have total control of a technocracy that ties into all the smart meters, all the smartphones. Imagine if Skynet wanted to take over. It wouldn't do it with big Terminator robots that come marching down the road. It would get rid of your jobs first. It would put computers in charge of all the mining, all the manufacturing first. It would dumb the public down. It would put chemicals in the water, chemicals in the food, biologicals in the food. It would, it would slowly reduce humans down, isolate them, make it where humans are dependent on the centralized automated system that can then social engineer because humans won't even know how to take care of themselves and humans will accept the orderly extermination of the majority because it's going to be done in, an, in, again, a concentric ring incrementalism out from the third world into the first world with stage crises, biological releases, wars, you name it, with people giving up more liberty in the name of security when actually it's a rope tightening around our collective necks with the goal of reducing us down absolutely and top globalists, you know, the, the public numbers are going to kill 80% <laughs> incrementally. Phase us out. That's because the 20% running it think they're going to be part of it. But you get higher level literature, it's 90%. And then you get up to the highest level literature and they just go, you know, humans are bad and a parasite. The universe would be better if there was none of us. So a select elite are going to merge with machines and blast off and, and, and you know, we'll, we'll colonize space. And that's basically the party orthodox doctrine of the globalists. There's different doctrines, but that's the main church. And that's their canon. That's their canons of law and, and, and systems. And I mean, that's it. This is not my opinion. You're hearing absolute watered down truth here. And Because by, by watered down, I cannot describe to you the evil of this studying it. You've got to go research this self. I mean, you've got to go look into this yourself because I, I can hardly talk when I start really thinking about the fact that I'm living in all this. And I'm a man. I want to live. I want to go out and eat a steak. I want to go out and see a movie and laugh. I want to go fishing. I want love. I want passion. I want to have more kids. I want to be prosperous. But truly, the world as we know it is not going to exist. And they're going to kill everybody. Almost everyone listening to this, if they have their way, you're dead. Just like the 55 million babies and the 40 to 50 million abortions. You know, this is just humans. Don't even have the number down. You know, and we know all the baseball scores. We know all the soccer scores worldwide, but we don't know that it was 47 million, 298,000 humans or whatever. Now we just, yeah, I'll give or take 10 million. And yeah, it's one and a half to two billion. You know, we're not sure how many have been killed in the last 50 years. It's just, it's billions. Yeah, it's just billions. And you got an attitude. Yeah, it's, there's people everywhere. There's too many of us. It's, it's billions. You know, who cares? And the point is, they're setting up a world where we don't exist. And there's a revolution. But if you could punch up my computer, here's the Daily Mail. And they've got RoboCop ads, monster ads is what they call them, on both sides of the computer about RoboCop and how cool it is. But then right in front of it, it says, is 2014 the year your job will be taken by a robot? Job apocalypse set to strike as droids are trained to flip burgers or drinks and even look after our children. <clears throat> and here's the deal. You as a decision, you're going to figure this out later when it's probably too late. But you don't want to go in a bar where a robot's serving you. You don't want to go into a restaurant where there's no humans and you pick what you want and there's not even a waitress. You don't want to give support to any of this. Do you understand? In fact, I, I, I've envisioned the symbol of the resistance is like a caution sign with a human with a club, a man with a club with his wife and his children behind him smashing a robot in. That is the symbol of the future. If we even have a chance against this with God's help, okay? That's, it's not that I'm against technology. It's that it's being developed and deployed, weaponized and autonomous against us. With Skynet, in the Pentagon's own words, 
This is from the 70s, folks. The year I was born was when this report was written, 1974. Another report in 77. Skynet wired into everything with smart dust and RFID and everything, with all your appliances, your cars, everything run by it, everything actuaried. Agenda 21 to shut down all parts of the economy they don't control. People totally under globalist control. And you will, you will take all the inoculations. You will take the sterilization. You will, so half your neighbors are dying of cancer. All you know is if you don't take, you know, the uh, vaccine food rations they give you, uh, that, that, that you won't get any more food. And then if you resist, they'll send by a robot SWAT team to kill you. And your neighbors aren't going to say anything, folks, because if you say anything about this in the future, it's going to be called sedition, thought crime. And, oh, the system's breaking down because all these people are fighting it. And look, you know, Mega City 9 just went down with the humans rioting. You know, we're sending in the Liberator Force to defend. You know, uh, you know autonomous forces are taking out the humans. And I'm telling you, it's all coming. Man against machine, total war. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. Is the Second Amendment your line in the sand? Is the United States Constitution important to you? Are you worried about gun confiscation? You need to join us for free at gunconfiscation.com. At gunconfiscation.com, you will meet like-minded patriots, get the latest Second Amendment news, and find anything you need to prepare for gun confiscation. Visit gunconfiscation.com today. That's gunconfiscation.com. Which side are you on? We've all heard as long as we're not doing anything wrong, we don't have anything to worry about. But what do we do when the people that told us that become lawless and use our cell phones to violate our constitutional rights? Get a privacy case from privacycase.com today and stop this high-tech iron curtain from crushing our right to privacy. The American-made privacy case uses military-grade shielding technology to stop these criminals and thieves in their tracks. Privacycase.com By the way, they always say that this job apocalypse is going to happen over the next few decades. No, it's going to happen in the next five years. The first big phases of it. Because they've learned psychologically, they always put it off into the future. Oh, in 2050, the military is going to have autonomous drones. They had autonomous drones 15, 20 years ago. Now they've got completely autonomous ones. With names like Tyrannus. The British have got them. They've all got them. And so all these countries are racing to build it, but it's all been standardized. It all has back doors built by the technocrats, whether it's made in China, whether it's made in Thailand, whether it's made in Singapore, whether it's made in Austin, Texas, or whether it's made in the 
areas of the central uh, areas of California, it's all globally standardized, and, and it's the ring of Sauron. All these lesser rings are given to everyone. The iPhones, the, the smart washing machines that you can turn on when you're away. And, and everybody thinks, oh, it's great, the smart meter. I can control my house from a distance. Yeah, and it can control what you do and track what you do and, and, and double charge you and all this other stuff. Bad people animate this. So there's the one ring that controls all the others. And we're all taking our own personal rings. Sauron is giving out billions of rings. And it's an incredible system. And there's good in the system as well. But that can be turned off at any time, this broadcast, Infowars.com. All of it is to be actuaried out, phased out, assimilated. I mean, the system doesn't care if you don't sell out. They just keep coming at you and coming at you and coming at you so nicely, so lovingly, wanting to be your friend, wanting to help you, wanting to give you everything you need. Make it so easy because they've already, already sold out. They've already given into the spirit. It's a spirit. It's an idea, it's a mindset, and it is the end of humanity, and it is an abortion of humanity. And before they fully abort us, they're going to mutate us and make us ugly, so it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, so that we accept our destruction. We have to accept our destruction and give up the life force, give up the animating contest, so that we don't have the will to fight. When we raise our children, when we do the right thing when we stay out of the system. We don't have the will and we just give up. And, they, and then spiritually, they have the right then to come in and destroy us. Just saying, I resist, I see you, I know you, I know who you are, I don't accept you, you are death, you are a fraud, you are a liar, you are a dehumanizer, you are the author of everything ugly, you are a betrayer. That, just that decision in your heart sends shockwaves through the enemy spider web. But you have to decide what your prime directive is, what your main function is. Is it having a good time? Is it playing along with the system? Is it believing all this hype about fashion and the rest of it? Which is human, but they've twisted it and into a false matrix while the real world around you is a prison being built. They're building the matrix around us. They say, oh, you're, the Pentagon said in the 70s in that same report that I put in my book that, that the final goal is we will live in hive mind sensory deprivation pods from birth to death and there'll be no more pain, no more violence, no more war. We'll all just live in pods, the matrix. You, you think the Wachowski brothers just came up with all that? I don't know if that's theoretically possible, but that's what the Pentagon said the goal is. Total peace. They're not going to put you in a pod. If they succeed and there's a couple million humans left and you've all done this and worked with the machine takeover, they're not going to stick you in a pod to live forever, okay? They're going to kill you. But it'll be painless when they jack you in. And that's what the Ch Wachowski brothers put in their last movie where the clones think they're going to, go, you know, become free and they're really just killing them. I mean, I'm telling you folks, I choose to not be a clone. I choose to not be a biological android. I choose free will. And I choose to resist this genetic overwrite of humanity by the devil himself. I resist it. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. 
Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio.